Welcome back to the fly reviews everyone. We just got done looking at the fly and return of the fly so that leads us with our third installment the curse of the fly from 1965. Let me just say now if you planned on not watching a movie from this series it should be this one. Well to begin you know how it says fly in every single one of these movies? Well guess what there's not one fly in this movie not one. I can say though, it does revolve around the same family from the first two movies, but there's no Vincent Price. And to be honest, I'm glad Vincent Price's name isn't connected to this movie. The movie centers around this scientist named Martin, and his curse is that he can't stop doing his family's own experiments. While doing these experiments, he tries to keep them hidden away from his wife. But that doesn't take her long to find out what he's doing. He's even got like some weird assistant lady, and he tests on humans instead of animals now. Also, you can just look at this and tell how low budget this is. I also just find it weird that they decided to make a sequel to Return of the Fly six years later. And let alone from the low budget to take away from this movie, this movie is also just very boring. I remember watching this for the first time and just being very distracted about literally anything else going on besides the movie. I would also say that it's widely accepted that this movie is the worst out of all the Fly movies. It's low budget, cheesy, and campy, but hey, at least we're done with the original series and moving on to most people's favorites, the two movies from the 1980s.